everyone, I will give you a quick breakdown on exactly how to use the iMovie application. Now this is a free application made by Apple that you can go and use wherever you want to. So you can download from the App Store. Some of you may have already used it before, but if you've never used it, this should be a complete beginner's guide of using it on your iPhone or iPad. It's probably very similar to Mac and other operating systems as well. So when you first open up the application, you'll get this little pop-up at the bottom. Now you can choose whether you want to make a magic movie, storyboard, or movie. A majority of people out there, if you're editing videos for TikTok or Instagram, you might as well just click on movie. And here you can go ahead and bring in your videos. So as you can see, I have photos, I have videos. Now you can select whatever you want to. So if I have this video, I can bring this video in. So the first thing you want to do is just go and select the videos or photos that you want. You can also swipe back out and, you know, pick another area if you want to. In this case, we'll just go back to video and I'll go and just go to recently added. And I made a few videos here. So I'll go and just choose this whole entire video right here by holding it. So once I select the video, I can go and just select it like this. And you want to go and click create movie. Now it's going to automatically create a movie for me, as you can see. So now I have this random video here that was like a one second screen recording. And I have this photo right here too that automatically made a little thing for me. Now the video up here isn't super important, but the way it's broken down is you have your video up here. You have a plus button, you have the back button, play button, and at the bottom you have a settings button right there. So all you want to do basically is go ahead and if you want to go ahead and let's say delete this video, you can go ahead and edit this video further by clicking on the video and you'll see a bottom portion come up. Now if I go ahead and zoom in, you might be able to see that it does look, you know, very similar to other applications for video editing as well. So if you want to split the video, you can always kind of hover into it like this. And you can go ahead and, you know, choose if you want to go and cut the video down. You can go and change the speed of this video by clicking on speed. The sound of this video, you can go ahead and edit by going through here. And you can bring up and down the sound right there. You can add text overlay to this specific video as well. If you go and select here, you can add text as you can see at the top. But in this case, we'll just go and click none. And the very back portion is filters. So you can add a filter over this specific portion of the video if you want to. In this case, let's say you don't want to do any of that. Well, what a majority of people use iMovie for is they will typically go through and cut up their video. So they'll go through and they will start, you know, doing things like detaching. So you can click detach and you can detach the audio from that specific video. If you go ahead and actually want to undo it, you can click the undo button right here. So you can click undo. And then again, if you want to do the same exact thing for the next portion, you can hide over that. You can go and click here and you can do the exact same thing. So here we have a few other options. We have duplicate and we have delete. So if you want to delete this portion of the video, what you can do is you can just click delete and that's going to delete that portion of the video. Now, if you click back, it's going to come, you know, bring it back. And if you want to do the same exact thing, I mean, you can duplicate this specific portion of the video too. So now we have two portions of this video. But if you see that middle thing, right, you may not know what that is. That's actually a transition. So if you want a transition there, what you can do is go and hover over that and you can change this transition. So you can make it go from, you know, this type of transition to a none. So it's just no transition at all. You can also make it go from here to like a star. So I don't even know what this is. So you can go ahead and make it, you know, kind of smooth. So that's kind of a smoother transition. That's another thing you, you can do if you want to basically change out those middle portions. So again, those are transitions you can go and edit out. Now with this plus button, what you can do is click here and you can add more footage and add more videos. So this is another big portion with an iMovie. So if you want to go ahead and bring in another photo or video, what you can do is just go and click on, you know, photos. You can go ahead and bring in another photo if you want. So let's say I want to bring in this photo. Well, all I have to do is click here. If I like it, I can click that plus button. And now it'll add that video or photo right in the center of these two. But let's say I want this photo at the very end. Well, what I can do is I can hold down that photo right here and or video. I can go and slide it all the way to the end right here. And I can go ahead and drop it in between these two. But let's say I don't want this video at the very end. I just want to delete it. Well, like I mentioned before, I can click here. I can go and click delete. And now that footage will be deleted. And that is basically how you use the basics of iMovie. Now, let's say this photo, I want to go ahead and basically, you know, split it at the very end. I don't want, you know, all of it. But what you can always do is you can drag it down like this. You can hold it down. And you can go ahead and slide the ending points. So you see that timer at the very end. That basically will shorten or lengthen how long I want that photo to go for. So if I don't want that photo to be that long, let's say I only want it for whatever, like two seconds, but what I can do is I can go ahead and transition like that, and that is it. But let's say I don't want this back portion to be like that either. I can do the exact same thing. I can go and shorten this video as well, and now I have like a six second video, and maybe that's all I want. So you can do the exact same things that I mentioned before. You can add all these filters at the very end. You can duplicate it. You can add text over it. You can add a filter if you want. But a lot of the things come within the videos. So if you want to change the time, if you want to go ahead and, you know, split it up, you can do that there too. 
So that's a quick breakdown of how to use it. Now let's say I'm done. Let's say I want to export this you know, video or whatever it is. Well, what I can do here is I can go and click done at the very top left. And what's going to do is it's going to bring me into the next panel, which is going to be here. Now it's going to automatically save it. Now I can go back to editing if I want to click edit. I can change the, you know, the way it is, uh, the name of this specific project. But at the very bottom, you'll see a few different things. You'll see this play button, you'll see the share button, and you'll see the delete button. Now if you want to actually share this video out to other people, what you can do is just click that share button, and it's going to allow you to save the video. So if you want to save this video to your camera roll, just click save video, and it's going to start exporting this video to my specific phone. So now if I want it says this photo is in my photo library, well, if I go and hop out of here and if I go make my way over to my photo library, you will see this new video that we just made. So from here, you can post this on TikTok or Instagram or send it to somebody, whichever way you want to do it. And that's pretty much how you do it. If you have any other thoughts or questions, then let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would be so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.